investment industry can interact and grow. When you have the CFA Charter, you're globally recognized. Take advantage today by writing the CFA exam and joining us at CFA Society Nigeria. For more information, visit us at cfasocietyng.org. CFA Society Nigeria, making finance a force for good. Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks with CFA Society Nigeria. Let's talk about money. Hello everyone and welcome to Money Talks. Money Talks is brought to you by CFS Society Nigeria. Smart. Uzechi is my name. Banu Ahmed Olaito is our guest on the program this evening. Olaito has 16 years of cognate experience spanning investment management, stockbroking and securities trading, institutional trusteeship, capital market operations and other financial services. Before joining STL Assets Management Limited, where he is currently the Managing Director, Ahmed was the Acting Managing Director and Chief Strategist at Parthian Securities Limited and Head Equity Investments at Stambik IBTC Asset Management Limited. Ahmed is a CFA Charter Holder, an Associate Member of the Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers CIS and a certified international fixed income and derivatives dealer with a master's degree in investment management from the prestigious ICMA Center, University of Reading, UK in 2012, as well as a bachelor's degree in actuarial science from the University of Lagos, Nigeria in 2006. How technology is enhancing financial inclusion through savings and investment is a subject of discussion here this evening but before that time let's say a big welcome to Ahmed Olaiton who has joined us to the studio this evening <laughs> Ahmed one more time good evening and thank you so much for coming good evening good evening smart how are you doing I'm fine I'm fine yeah good to see you I, I like the sound of your voice <laughs> you sound like one of us yeah some some people have been telling me that that oh, um, really I have I have a radio voice so so i'm in the spirit yes yes yeah you're in the calling <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome thank you very much so the program is fully interactive meaning that you can join the conversation anytime zero seven zero zero nine two three nine two three nine two three that's the number to call us here or you can also call us on zero one two seven seven one nine two three that's zero one two seven seven one nine two three or send us messages on WhatsApp zero eight one seven three one three six one nine three. That's zero eight one seven three one three six one nine three. Or you can go to the website CFA Society NG dot org. That's how you can also leave messages there or find previous editions as podcast on that platform as well. Don't forget how technology is enhancing financial inclusion through savings and investment is what we're talking about here i will kick start that conversation as soon as we return from this very short break please do join us again we are professionals we are impact driven we are cfa society nigeria a member society of the cfa institute global network of societies our mission is to promote the highest standard of practice in the Nigerian financial services industry and provide a vibrant community for our members. The CFA Chatter signals the holders' commitment to professional excellence. As thought leaders, we collaborate with stakeholders to ensure adherence to ethical standards, better education for professionals, and to build market integrity. We are the leading voice for advocacy in the finance and investment industry in Nigeria. To partner with us or become our member, visit us at cfasocietyng.org for more details. CFA Society Nigeria, making finance a force for good. Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks. Money Talks with CFA Society Nigeria. Let's talk about money. How technology is enhancing financial inclusion through savings and investment is what we're talking about here. And Ahmed Olaito is with me in the studio. So, Ahmed, 
can I start by asking you to tell us how you would describe financial inclusion in Nigeria as of today? Because Nigeria of today is definitely not the Nigeria of yesterday. So when we talk about financial inclusion, how would you describe that in the reality of our nation today? And perhaps some time ago before the introduction of financial technologies uh, in play nowadays. Uh, thank you very much, Matt. Um, I would say that, like you said, uh, prior to today, mm. in the years before, things were very manual. Yeah. Um, but we've, we've really grown over the years. Mm. Um, but are we there yet? The answer to me is not necessarily. Mm. Um, there's still room for improvement. Um, there's still a long way to, a long way to go. Um, if you talk about financial inclusion, um, even in the banking industry, not even talking about the asset management industry. If you talk about the banking industry, um, there's still a lot of people that still are not on mobile apps. There's still a lot of people that don't even understand that banks actually do um, interbank transfers. Um, you could transfer from Zenit to, you know, to another bank. Um, now, if you now move to the asset management space, um, it's, it's significantly grown, but uh, like I said, uh, we still have a long way to go. Um, we still have comparing ourselves to you know, other climbs, um, developed world. Um, as people say, we're not yet developed. Um, even South Africa down the road. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you think about technology, um, and especially in fin- financial technology, um, yes. I think my response in a nutshell is, well, we've improved over the years, um, but we're still there's still room for improvement. Mm. So we are not where we used to be. But we're not, but yet, we're not yet, yet where we're going. We are not even. So it's a transition. Uh, it's really. a transition. We're still, we're still in the process. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and so now, what would you now say are the key technological advancements that have transformed financial inclusion, especially for mobilizing savings and investment? You mentioned that the practice is there. And uh, in Nigeria over the past decade, if you look at it really. So I would say, um, I would thank, firstly, I would thank the banks. Um, but before even thanking the bank, I would thank um, organizations like um, InterSwitch. Um, I can remember back in 2018, 2008, um, a lot of people even know about cards. Mm. Um, fast forward, how many years down, 16 years after, more than 16 years after, almost everybody has a bank card. Um, so these are, that's technology, technology improvement. Mm. Um, so we now move from there to still start talking about um, transfers like I mentioned. Um, and now we have USSD. You know, I could have a mobile number. Um, and I, you also have to thank um, telecom companies, too, yeah. uh, Airtels and the MTNs, mm. bringing te- um, internet, bringing mobile phones into you know into the market. And then fast forward, we now have we can actually do USSD where I have a mobile phone and I can sort of do a transfer with my mobile phone by just dialing in a code. Yeah. Then obviously we have internet banking. Um, and we have mobile banking then we now move that to into asset management firms where you have mobile you know your mobile apps that can actually do sort of um, investment for you um, that can do automated investing um, you know I don't want to start calling companies in the asset management space so it won't be like um, sort of um, promoting any company but uh, in a nutshell You've seen that grow significantly in the asset management space, where asset management firms are actually often, you know, giving their clients access through their mobile phones, through their web. So you have web applications, you have mobile applications. You know, you even have some firms that haven't have gone ahead as even making use of USSDs, USSD, USSD code like like bank. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we've seen that improvement. Um, and what that helps you to achieve significantly is automated investing. Yeah, um, and where we want to get to is a point where you know you think about investing like you are spending every day. Yeah, um, improving the investing culture, improving. So I always say this a lot. Um, people talk about savings. Um, I think we need to move away from savings, from the saving culture to an investing culture. Mm. Yeah, where you are not just thinking about putting money aside you're actually thinking about money working for you you know sort of in your sleep just imagine a world where i am working every day um and i'm investing mm. and i don't have to bother about it so there's a company that is coming up now i don't want to start calling like i said i don't start calling names <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's a fintech now that they're 
about to provide a service that I believe is going to change the way we look at investing in Nigeria. Yeah, go ahead with your normal daily activities, and as you are carrying out your daily activities, you are investing. Really? Yes, that's technology. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so but you wake up one day and you realize that you know I have one million naira. I'm wondering. Where, Where did you come from? from? Mm-hmm. So you're just carrying out your daily activities mm. and you're making money. But then again, as sweet as it sounds, some people are still very skeptical about it because people have uh, relatives that have lost money because of this technology you're talking about. So somebody sits at home, they get debit alert, money is leaving their account. And they say, look, I'm not at the bank. I didn't give any instruction to my bank to debit me, but my money is leaving. So this has also raised some kind of uh, skepticism in the minds of those who may want to embrace these technological advancements you're talking about. What do you say to such persons, especially those who have lost money? So I will not act ignorant, like I don't know that exists. But I would say um, it comes with the territory. And what do I mean by that? Technology has gotten to a point where a lot of people will still take advantage of it mm. not to the positive side of things but to you know sort of negative advantage yeah um, and that's i don't want to start calling you know the 419 guys and all that and scammers and all it will always happen yeah and i think it is left for the market practitioners to sort of continue to educate um so i'll, t- I'll take it from two perspectives one is we as macro practitioners offering these services to our to the public we need to ensure that our applications services are top-notch um accessibility penetration of archives are significantly limited and also we also need to promote education Mm. awareness let people to let people understand that these things do happen and it shouldn't be a discouragement to say oh because i you know i lost money as a result of you know banking having access to mobile banking and you know i'll give you an instance i know someone someone personal i hope she's hearing this but (laughs) i know someone personal that she still goes to the bank to do bank transactions yeah you know you see write checks they believe in the good old checks so she she doesn't write checks Hmm. <laughs> she doesn't write checks because she knows the world has gone beyond checks hmm. so um she still goes to the bank to write to do the instructions instructions to the bank the to move. so she tells everybody that she wants that she wants to so she, meet she still, you know no just send me the bank details tell me what <laughs> and all that so she has a booklet yeah you know i'm some people that know her will almost likely be laughing now so yeah she, and she goes to the bank you know and she does her transactions and each time i tell her you don't have to do this you can actually do this from your mobile phone and the first thing she says is what you said ah no ah, they will, ah, they will take all my money my ah. pastor <laughs> doesn't do any transfer he tells you it is the day you start mm. then you give them the key mm. to get into you no um so the, the the world has gone beyond that but the banks haven't helped also because each time people lose money the bank has a way of saying it's you maybe you have quarreled with your wife and then she knows your pain or it's your side chick or you have been careless who did you they start asking these questions they don't take responsibility yes no, I, I i won't say yes. apologies i said yes so <laughs> <laughs> apologies i said yes but it still goes back to what i said to say that's where awareness comes into play mm. so how have banks sort of push that awareness to let people understand that you know you need to be protective of your information um do not be careless don't give anybody you know i i i'll tell this 2008 i worked in zenith bank card services and yeah you see things like that somebody calls you one day and tells you oh i can see my account somebody's withdrawing from my account and by the time you do i'm not speaking for the banks but mm. by the time you do the investigation you realize that um at somebody the point knows in somebody time, knew somebody they had given his girlfriend yeah <laughs> his card <laughs> pin who eventually got access to the card and he was he was the person making the tr- transactions mm. and he told you i can't remember stop her you know you, i've seen can you arrest arrest her mm. 
Mm. You, but you gave her your pin. Eh, I know, but still arrest her. I didn't authorize her to do the transactions. <laughs> Okay. In case you join us now, another one will interest you. In case you've actually been in this kind of scenario, you can call us now. If you have questions for Ahmed or Lighton, please call us on the telephone 0700-923-923-923. That's the number here. Or you can call 01-277-1923. That's 01-277-1923. Or send us messages on WhatsApp 0817-313-6193 how technology is enhancing financial inclusion through savings and investment is what we're talking about here this evening so ahmed no doubt about that fact that uh, the adoption of digital platforms and fintech solutions like we mentioned in here uh, have changed the landscape of for the nigerian retail investors yes significantly hmm. um so if you go back to uh some years back I think everything sort of blew up sometime in 2006, no, sorry, 2016, 2017. You know, we had an econ- economic sort of an economic macroeconomic meltdown in 2014 mm. that dovetailed into 2017. You know, crude oil declined. That's when we started having our FX challenges. Yeah. To be honest, we've been having our FX challenges too. But let's ask another conversation. Mm. So I, I believe based on those economic situations that's when you start saying things like mmm mm. mmm is te- even though it ended up being a fraudulent ponzi yeah. scheme but mm. it was it was helping people at fintech. the time mm. it was fintech or how do you access mmm you go on an app mm-hmm. you download the app mm-hmm. and you put your money what are you really, what are you really saying they give help <laughs> and take help get help get help so <laughs> it was fintech and i believe after that a lot of you know it blew up after that Mm. I think MMM just made us realize that, oh, I think people really are interested in technology, meaning accessing investments through technology. So we started seeing a lot of firms spring up. I know a firm that has done significantly well. Um, I always sort of use them as my yardstick. I don't want to name, like I said, I don't want to call names. Um, I'm sure he might probably be listening now. The managing director of the company might be listening now. And you know, I, I'm actually talking about him. Mm. Um, they started small firm fintech. All they just did was technology savings. Now they've blown into a digitally focused asset management firm, and it all started from just fifteen. Naira. I remember I was one of their first first investors. Mm-hmm. Um, pardon me. I know my prior employer will probably not will hear this and wonder. Ah, so you've been investing <laughs> with other people, that were, you know. And then it was as easy as doing. 50,000 naira, sorry, 500 naira every day. So they had automated the process to the point where I wake up every morning and I already say debit a lot. 500 naira gone from my account. Mm. Then life was still a bit good. Apologies to that. And 500 naira was not a lot of money. So, and you move on. And fast forward 365 days after, that's almost close to 109, almost 200,000 naira. At the end of the investment period end of the whole year and i can remember i said this with so much pride the money i got from that investment i used to buy my last phone wow <laughs> and it wasn't a painful process and that's mm. the way we should think about investing you, and i say this to a lot of people you don't have to have big money to invest you don't have to have 100 million you don't have to have 10 million you don't have to have 50 million you don't have to have 50 500 000. as little as 50 naira mm. so we should get to a point where savings and investing is so automated that as little as 50 naira can be invested mm. and that's where we should start thinking about you know financial inclusion to the point where even the guy in shokoto the lady in meduguri the lady in potakot Another lady in somewhere in the border between Nigeria and Bene Republic, Kotonu, can access your investment solutions. And the only way you can achieve that is through what? Technology. Mm. Technology helps you to scale. You know, you get to a point where I don't need to give you an account opening form. All you just need to go to is go on an app, take a picture, put your means of ID, put your BVN. 
voila i investing <laughs> that's where we need to get to <laughs> you know and that's to me that's my vision so when i think about asset management in nigeria that's the vision the man on the street can invest mm. the vulcanizer on the street can invest the downfall driver can invest mm-hmm. to the point that even the doubt yeah. the money is collecting from you yeah as it's collecting it from you it's going into investment mm-hmm. wow so if you have questions for ahmed alight or you can begin to call us now because uh, we're nearing the end of the program zero seven zero zero nine two three nine two three nine two three if you have questions around investment savings uh fintechs if you have lost money before trying to invest you can ask him if you have gained if you're trying to invest money uh, in fintechs as well and you're having doubt you can also ask him zero one two seven seven one nine two three you can also call that number or zero one two seven seven two nine two three that's in addition to zero seven hundred nine two three nine two three nine two three or send us messages on zero eight one seven three one three six one nine three so like i I know i've mentioned this uh as we're talking here but let's just say it again you know fintechs there are many positives there's no doubt about that but there are also some negatives including what we've mentioned the likes of mmm you know there are many others that people got their fingers burnt they lost their monies as i'm sitting here I'm remembering one that I lost. <laughs> that I lost my money, and if my wife is listening, she was the one that told me, "Oh, they are giving." As they I enter, and think on cruise. Mm-hmm. They are giving help. That's mm-hmm. why I enter. Everybody they chop and mud, they do and they work, but that that much why I enter. Good evening to you. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Good evening. Yes. Good afternoon, Abi. Anyone? As far as it's good. Chukwemeka is my name. Welcome, Chukwemeka. Go ahead quickly with your question. Yes, I wanted to. I wonder. I was trying to guess who can uh, mentor me on on investment. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that will be uh, where I like can get contact with the person that is teaching on now. Radio, please. Yes. So just keep listening. At the end of the program, we're going to give you a website or a a, a social media handle you can follow, so you can get mentorship from there. Okay. Okay. Sir. So just keep listening. So, Olaito, uh, quickly, you know, the negatives here, the negative side, or is it just, just a walk in the park? Is, just, is it just um, easy-weezy, as they say? No problem. So, so, so yeah, yeah, I get you. Um, I think about, I'm a very pos- op- positive person. Mm. Um, yes, there are negatives, and I think you've mentioned the negatives. I'll take it from two angles. The mm. fact that if you do not keep your information accurately there's a possibility that you know um you could get act and you get all your and all your phones will go Mm. but i would you know we mentioned that i think the main fact is we should also be careful um very very careful there are a lot of uh operators out there that are not recognized operators Mm. there are a lot of operators out there that are not you know truly passing the message or providing the solution that they want to provide there are that a lot of operators out there that just want to use this pla- technology platform to take advantage of people mm. um we've seen the likes of mmm um i don't want to mention a lot i think mmm is the one that you know publicly we can talk about um but there are a lot of them out there like you said you've got you got your hands burnt i also got my hands burnt um <laughs> Well, there are some that have true intentions, yeah. but due to due to certain circumstances, um, they've been able they've been shut down. Mm. Um, so my advice I would always give is: be careful with what you invest in. Um, be careful with not necessarily what you invest in. Be careful with who you associate with. Yeah, as regards assisting you with your investment because the whole objective is to assist you to invest mm. is to assist you to achieve your financial goals so while you are at it do your adequate due diligence what i would always recommend is confirm if they are regulated by the 
Securities and Exchange Commission. Mm. It cannot be overemphasized. Mm. Yeah, but do not just say because they are regulated by the SEC, you go to sleep or you don't do your further due diligence. But still do your further diligence afterwards. But ensure that you can see that confirmation that they are regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission. So that will lead me to ask you what role especially those two organizations you've called now the central bank of nigeria the securities and exchange commission the role they play in monitoring you know the technology explosion because it's everywhere like you said it's popping up as you when you're on your mobile phones and your computer it's popping up they're asking you want to invest any any way you are they just ask you so what role do they play in monitoring this explosion in the fintech world uh, and the financial services sector so I would say it's been it's been quite significant. Um, like you said, popping all up, popping up yeah. all around the place. Yeah. They offer you um, they offer you loans now. <laughs> you know, you just take the money. They don't even yeah. need so, to know where you live or something. So I'll be honest. I won't speak for the central bank. <laughs> yes, um, I won't speak because that's not my space. Mm. Um, but I would speak for the Securities and Exchange Commission, and mm. I would say yes, they've been very active. Mm. Um, I know for one uh, that there's they have a policy or a rule now that states that um, before you can offer such uh, services or push out such digital you know technology fintech and all that you need to come and register even not even the fact that you are registered you also need to register that or make them know that you are actually pushing that um, that strategy of being technology focused yeah and yeah, the monitoring and regulation has been going on since then so I'll say yes. And that's why I'm emphasizing and I would always emphasize ensure that you get that confirmation that the Securities and Exchange Commission has registered or certified that operator or the provider of that technology. Mm. Okay, finally, uh, Ahmed, you need to tell us the potential benefits and then the challenges associated with automated investment platforms in the nigerian wealth management industry many times people say oh it's automated you want to transfer money the money leaves your account it doesn't get to the person you're transferring to and like in the shop they're already making an announcement in case your transaction declines it's not also you go and sort yourself out with your bank mm. and all of that okay so you know in the in the banking the the, the digital banking space is a bit quite different from the asset management digital space the bank is actually the provider of mm. that service. Mm. But in the asset management space, it's the asset management firm that is the provider of that service. If you are moving money or investing through an asset management mobile application, the funds are going directly to the asset management firm. Mm. It's not going anywhere else. Or I would say technically, it's going to the custodian of the asset management firm, who is a service provider or an agent of the, of the asset so management still firm. within the firm so it's still within the firm okay. but for the banking the banking the bank is just is just a provider mm. so i can move money from mr a to mr b mm. and i've seen situations where you move money which you know you move money from mr a to mr b mr b gets it too but he'll tell you he did not get it <laughs> <laughs> he'll tell you he did not get it you know or you will see a situation where mr a will tell you he moved money to you but he actually did not move any money yeah and that's why the shop will tell you <laughs> In the case of any, go and meet, sort yourself out with your bank. Go and meet with the bank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. But for the asset management firm, come to the asset management firm or go to the asset management firm and have a conversation with the asset management firm. They will sort you out. Mm. Thank you very much. Banu Ahmed Olaito has been our guest on the program this evening, and we've been talking about how technology is enhancing financial inclusion through savings and investment. Ahmed, thank you so much for coming. We've enjoyed uh, your teaching this evening. I will hope to see you again on the platform. Thank you very much, Smart. Thank you so it's much. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. And that's our time right here. Did you join us again uh, next week at this time? Um, Smart Uzechi is my name. For the man who called, you can go online www.cfsocietyng.org. You can go there and get information or follow CFA Society uh, Nigeria on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, or check the YouTube at CFA Society NG.
Thank you so much for listening. We're back next week. Till that time, have a good evening. It's 5 p.m. from Alpha Morgan Capital, your investment banking institution.